seconds and counting. Hey, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. It's Nisha and joined by Drew and Roman. And today we have some news um, for the Texans. And the Texans are planning to move Lonnie Johnson back from safety to cornerback, uh, which was obviously his original position. And he was drafted as a cornerback in 2019. He's obviously in the second round. And so <clears throat> this was something a lot of people were asking for for the longest time. And even when the change did happen, when he did move, from cornerback to safety initially, a lot of people were a lot, uh, really questioned by it. So what are your thoughts on Lonnie moving back to cornerback? Um, yeah, I was definitely one of those people that was kind of concerned and questioning that move in general. When we got Lovey Smith as our defensive corner, I was thinking to myself, oh, Lonnie Johnson is probably the perfect cover two corner because he's physical, he is aggressive, he likes to come down, makes, it, makes those big hits, you know. Not necessarily like, best tackler in the world but he's still physical unlike most people you gotta be willing to make plays and Lonnie Johnson has always wanted to be a playmaker he already has like three interceptions on the season that's just from playing safety in a position he's not necessarily comfortable with and we saw him make so many mistakes in coverage he wasn't comfortable there he was struggling he looked like he wasn't didn't know exactly what he was doing especially in the scheme in playing cover two, you know, he's a lot of responsibilities as a safety in that system. You got to be in the right spot. If you're not in the right spot, somebody is going to be open. And that did happen a lot. Now, one thing I will say about Lonnie, he does have the physical trait. He does have the aggressive trait. But if you're going to be a cover two cornerback, you must have good eyes because you got to be able to pass off the verticals. You got to be able to come down when you see a flat route coming to you. You got to stay on the curls. You got to be able to communicate well. That's something that, as a safety, he should have picked up on, but he still struggled with having good eye discipline. Otherwise, I'm pretty excited about this move. I think it should happen a long time ago. I think that that's his natural position, and he'll just get better from there as long as we keep him there and develop. Uh, yeah, I personally love the move. Um, He originally, originally played cornerback with Kentucky in college pretty much throughout his whole career. And when he played cornerback with Kentucky, I mean, he wasn't the best, but he wasn't the worst corner. Um, there's definitely some things to work on. And I mean, I can kind of see why they moved into safety. Like he has all the he has all the physical attributes to play safety. Um, he's more of an athletic freak, more than a football player. So the Houston Texans probably thought, hey, he's super athletic. Let's try to move him to safety. And one of the reasons they also moved him to safety was to keep everything in front of him. And moving him back to corner, especially in a Tampa 2 defense, in a way, everything's still gonna be in front of him. I mean, Unless the receiver runs by him, obviously. And that's probably going to happen quite a few times. But, um, yeah, I, I personally love the move. Um, what is he? I think he's like 6'3", six, 6'2", six, two, um, 200-something pounds. He has the perfect size for it. Um, and he's been getting a lot of picks this year. I believe he has three interceptions. So, I mean, he always likes to be around the ball. So, hopefully, they can translate by going back to cornerback. But, um, yeah, I'm excited for him. Yeah, um, like, that's a... Like Lonnie Johnson, despite all that coverage mistakes um, as a safety, he would still end up with like the the occasional interception that would like to him would make up for all his mistakes for the end of the game. Just seeing how he interacts with the fans after on Twitter. Um, but anyways, but yeah, and Cull this is what Cully said about Lonnie um, uh, on the switch back to corner. He said um, he's basically having to relearn that position and get acclimated to being a corner again. Um, but we feel good about Lonnie being there as he starts to get more comfortable there. We feel like we need to play Lonnie within that group. We'll put him there. And so, yeah, this is just going to be like what Lonnie's development going to look like now. And do the Texans feel uh, like because Lonnie was a trade candidate this past deadline, like he was on the trade block. So does this mean like the Texans trying to move him to back to cornerback? Is that them trying to maybe regain his value in some way in this lost season? Is, if he decides to perform better or or do they plan on trying to keep on keep him on the roster try to continue to develop him and see if he does have promise as a cornerback for this team in the future so those are some things to consider um but anyways let's also talk about another player who experienced a position change in titus howard who was moved from right tackle to left guard and it now is looking that like that experiment has failed miserably so what are your thoughts on 
um, Titus Howard at left guard so far this season? Yeah, the experience has not necessarily been that good. We thought that, you know, pairing Tunsil and Howard on the same side would be a deadly duo. You could run the ball to that side and you think, oh, it'd be unstoppable. And Titus Howard it does seem to be a very powerful player. He was pretty good in power runs, even from the tackle position when he was pulling. He always seemed to be very effective. I just feel like he's a little bit uncomfortable playing left guard. He has been one of the lowest graded left guards in the entire NFL, I do believe. But he was also really, really good at tackle. And this is a little bit different from the Lion Johnson situation. Titus Howard was doing really, really good. And you just decide to move him to a different position. That seems to hurt him a little bit. I feel like if you put him in the right tackle, it gives you lots more options in the draft. Say, okay, our focus in the draft needs to be getting an interior offensive lineman. You have your two tackles in Tunsil and Howard. You just move on with that. And you build around that. You put guys where they're more comfortable. You put guys at their best position. And then now you know what you need more. So I feel like moving Titus Howard back to right tackle, not saying it's going to happen, but I would be okay with that. Also, it is the right thing to do. It just kind of gives us a better look at what the team needs and also while putting people in the best position possible. Yeah, personally, I would definitely move him back to tackle, um, especially after last season. Last season, he was a very underrated right tackle in the NFL. I'm not going to say he shut down the likes of Miles Garrett or TJ Watt, but he definitely slowed them down. Last year, he had pretty good games against some of the best pass rushers in the NFL. I'm going to believe he only probably like allowed maybe one or two sacks between the both of them. And to do that as a right tackle, what was he, like in the second or third year last year? Um, that's something that's hard to do. And moving him to left guard right after a very good season, that's probably going to boost his confidence up at right tackle. And then switching him to left guard, where he's basically learning a whole other position. While after getting comfortable at right tackle, I mean, it really doesn't make sense in any manner. I mean, I get what they were trying to do, trying to run the ball to the left side, trying to create like a monster hole on the left side. But just in a football standpoint, like this guy is already gaining confidence at right tackle. He's only getting better. His footwork is getting better. And I don't know. I just don't get the move. But yeah, I would 100% definitely move him back. Um, And that, they never should have moved him in the first place. And this is a thing, like Tyus Howard, like he came out of college as a left tackle and then we moved it to right tackle since we already had tons. So then we moved it to left guard. So we're really messing up with, with Tyus Howard's development here. So I really hope we do make that change sooner rather than later. I don't know if they, uh, Coach Kelly said anything about that yet or James Campton at all. Um, but yeah, that's something definitely that we need to do. Um, and yeah, I think Tyus Howard has a lot of promise. I think this season, uh, this season, just putting him at a new position where he has to learn everything, um, is a struggle. And he was as a tackle, he's better in pass blocking than run blocking too. And so, um, but yeah, we'll see about that. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. Let us know your thoughts on uh, these changes. Uh, and as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thank you all for watching. Peace.